Hello, my name is Max and in today's tutorial I will show you how to use labeling consensus application in Supervisory Platform. Imagine the following case. Here is my account and I have a project with more than thousands of images and the annotations inside this project are made by three different annotators and here how the data looks like. Let's open the image. We see here different bounding boxes made by different people. So, for example, I can filter and show only objects that are made by, for example, labeler number one, or objects that are made by labeler number two. And as you can see, different annotators labeled the data slightly differently. And the interesting question is how to, is there a way to calculate some consensus scores and find all differences in their annotations because one way to iterate through the all images is not so effective. And I will show you how to do that using special consensus application. Let's go back to our project here and to run the app we just need to click to the context menu of the project and run application labeling consensus. If you don't see this app in the context menu you can press the button show all apps and type here consensus and you will find it here and press and uh, then we just run the app on top of this project. Let's wait a bit until the app installs all requirements. So right now it's started, let's open. What we see here in the user interface, there are three steps. On the first step we see some input project and its location. Also we can select what data sets we want to compare. For example, in my case, let's uh, pick only train data set for simplicity and keep all users that participated in annotation of this project. Then I just press add button and here I will see all three labelers for my specific data set. Here I can manage uh, the role, so for example, remove some labels if I have really large team. In my case, I want to compare all of these annotators. And the last step is to define the intersection of reunion threshold. It is used in the algorithm that matches object made by different people. Let's keep it by default and just press calculate consensus button. Let's wait a bit until the application will perform all calculations. And once it will be ready, we will see the consensus table for all users that we choose. So right now the all consensuses for all pairs of users are calculated and we see here in the table. So for example, let's pick labeler number one and compare it with labeler number two. The consensus score is about 70%. And it means that there are significant difference uh, on a lot of images uh, in their annotations. And this app also have a nice feature that will allow us to dive deeper into how the score is calculated. If we will, for example, click on the cell, uh, the consensus report for this pair of labelers will be shown. And here we see some basic information about uh, the classes that was compared and the users and, the, and their score, about 70%. And three other tables. The first table uh, shows us how many objects are matched uh, in this data set. And uh, here some precision recall and F measure is calculated for every class. Also, the second table shows us uh, the geometric quality. Uh, so it's two metrics, pixel accuracy and intersection over union uh, for every type of object. Uh, we don't have tags on images or objects, thus this table is empty. And the interesting table here is image label metrics. So for every image application calculates the metrics and for example we can click on some cell and at the bottom see uh, the annotations made by labeler number one, 
made by labeler number two and the difference between these annotations and let for example uh, enable synchronize view and enable zoom and disable opacity for rectangle and what we can do we can pick any image here and we can zoom in and see all the differences uh, uh, in annotations made by these two different members in our team and using this insight insights will help us to find some inconsistency in our training data or maybe find some annotators that do not understand the labeling requirements so it's kind of useful tool uh, if you if a lot of people label the same same data with the same set of tags and classes and I would like to emphasize that this app also works not only with rectangles but also with masks and polygons the same way like in this uh, example from industrial inspection so once you finish with the app you can go up and stop it if you don't need it like here so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to press like button and subscribe to our channel here we uh, showcase and make tutorials on how to use supervisory to solve different computer vision tasks. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.